Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the NX Edge style. We have Eva Unit 2. Got this to Todd to Hobby. Likewise, this is going to be a blind review, meaning I know little or not at all about what I'm reviewing, other than it looks awesome. Yep. <laughs> I I did not watch uh, Evangelion. Um, yeah, it just it's one of those animes that you really have to make an effort to watch it um, if you haven't encountered it uh, before. Um, yeah, it's just I didn't grow up watching it or got myself into it, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe later on, but at this at this time, uh, you know, there's other shows that are more more inclined to watch than that. Anyways, I did make a point, or I, I'm currently making a point to collect all Annex Edge style. Hence, why I got this. I already have the first two, so might as well get this one as well. And I do like the design. Uh, it's a really cool uh, humanoid uh, robot or mech, although it might be a living thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, qu quite nice. And I think uh, this is piloted by Asuka, the, the one wearing the red. Oh, hence the color of the this uh, particular unit. Quite cool. And uh, did I open this already? Not yet. <laughs> An actual unboxing. All right. So uh, here we go. Um, just gonna open this up here. Pop that open. So, so far, uh, all the NX Edge tiles have been great. And uh, sometimes they include the, the pillars as well as the effect parts. This one, we're getting the clear pillars. See, something tells me eventually they're gonna change this color again. Because uh, we had a gray before. Now the clear, maybe they'll go with black or some kind of blue. Alright, and I'm not so sure what. This looks like the like the handle and stop for the pop up and cannon and whatnot. Huh. It's really lightweight. Interesting. Should have really look in the instructions. I'm doing a live unboxing. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Um seems to be a handle here for different hands. We get quite a bit. And how to use the core. Insert two progressive knives. Alright. Core of the angel. So that's what it is. I was wondering what that red thing is. Hmm. And now we can change out the shoulder. The pauldrons. Alright. Interesting. So I guess. Or this is the weapon on its own. Huh. I thought there's like some kind of attachment in front. I guess not. Alright, so we got this giant shoulder things here with the... Uh, there's something like a booster for... Huh, it's like a high mobili mobility type kind of thing. Alright, so uh, here we go. Really cool. And we got other stuff here. So while we're at it, uh, we get a different pair of forearms with wings on them. So uh, yeah, I guess it seems like a high mobility thing. Get your progressive knives there. You got two of them. Really cool. Two uh, hands to hold the weapon. You got your is it the umbilical cord kind of thing. Yep. And the angel's heart. I think the angels are the ends. Let's see how this thing is. It's nice and red. <laughs> nice metallic red color. Oh, that is cool. While we're at it, huh? Yep, it, it fits well. That is sweet. This kind of reminds me of a clown's nose. <laughs> but yeah, that that is nice. All right, so let me clean this up and continue with the review. All right, so here we go. Cool looking design. Got like four eyes right there. Nicely painted. Yeah, that is amazing. All that nice red color right there. The white. Yep, this is amazing. Alright, so uh, articulation wise, you have a hinge there, can go down, side to side right there. I don't think you can open them out on this one. You got your shoulder here. There we go, you got your bicep swivel. 
You got your elbow about 90 degrees. You got your wrist joints. It's in a straight peg. You got your abdomen here. Yeah, you only get a hinge. You get a hinge up and down. Then you get a little bit of side to side right there. Then you got your waist. And again, the waist joint on Annex Edge, they're pointing forward. Which is a little odd, but it does kind of cover the joint right there. Uh, which is great for forward kicks. Not so much on the back side, but I think that is fine. Then you got your knee here. Uh, knee joint not too bad. And again, this is kind of like the SD. It's a simple hinge joint, basically. Then you got your ankle joint, and the joint is always pointing backward. And this does give you quite a bit of range uh, for really nice, uh, you know, just ankle pose for the wide stance. Really cool. All right, so other than that, uh, let's go ahead and swap the hands. Where is that hand? I had it here. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Get your progressive knives. It's hollow too. Oh, that's really cool. The other one on the other side. There we go. Other knife. You get your dual blade. And probably just put the thing here just for lulls. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually nice. I like this metallic red ball here. Alright, so that's for the weapon. Otherwise, uh, let's go uh, take this out, put this on, take this out, put the. Uh, looks like a crossbow now, the, now that I looked at it. It's probably, possibly uh, some sort of. Alright, so I take it. There's a tree right there, okay. I thought that was the handle, but. Or I thought that this somewhere here is the handle, but it's actually this long part here. All right, so we're just gonna have to wiggle your way in. That's all right. Gotta turn it around and get your trigger finger inside. There we go. And yeah, I think we got it. I'll just get the whoops. All right, I was trying to get the stock on his shoulder. I guess that's not going to work because of how limited, I mean that's going to look weird now with that elbow. Well, anyways, uh, get the other arm to support it, maybe up here, there we go. Not too bad. Now there is a hollow part there, probably put some effect parts, but yeah, um, quite nice, I like it. Probably just wield it with one hand. And uh, I think that that is fine also. There we go. Really cool. Although it feels like it's getting weighed down. So that might be an issue. Yeah. All right. So that's the weapon right there. Now uh, let's swap this out for the shoulder. I think this just uh, slides out. We, we want to put this on. All right. Okay, so it actually pops out this way. It pops out outward. I was pulling it up. <laughs> I mean, it ended up uh, dislocating the whole shoulder. All right, so uh, this one, we're just gonna push it in, and almost there. There we go. No, it didn't go to the backside. Now it's in a certain angle. No bueno. Okay. Okay, that's oh, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, that uh, shoulder joint is just not. <laughs> it's stuck. All right, let me do this off camera. All right, I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> let's try this again. All right, so we're we're gonna push this in, and there we go. The back side, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a little weird that didn't work out the first time. All right. So uh, the next one. And let's do a bit of a comparison on that. Yep. Or actually, where's that shoulder here? There we go. Now I can't remember if I put it front or back. <laughs> okay, I think it's this way. 
yeah um, hmm, interesting I wonder if this opens up to that or that's a separate unit on its own huh. all right likewise we're gonna just uh, press this in and make sure it is squared away or it's uh, actually yeah you won't even it seems like you can only put one peg at a time or something of that sort but yeah otherwise we have this spare can we actually remove the close fist here okay there we go all right so yeah we got a variety of hands for this nx edge close fist open hand and weapon hand all right so we're gonna remove the forearm it's a straight peg there we go now we have the kind of like a wings it probably helps it uh you know stabilize itself actually oh that's it's not that different i mean he already has the wings it's just more uh, it's like a forward swept kind of deal yep well interesting design and it's not going in <laughs> Now, I wonder if what should I go for? Do I keep it in this mode? Or, I mean, it does look cool with that giant shoulder thing. The boosters. Booster! Alright. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. I think, otherwise, I think that's it. I mean, I, I could put back the weapons or whatnot, but uh, yeah, this is really cool. Alright, so for the stand, you're gonna get this which we did in the box and you get your three nice pillars here to connect with others and you actually get three of this and I think this you need three because you can connect uh, all three of them together to make a one long one and that is for the angel's heart here there is a peg connection right there yep hmm I think I'm just gonna probably attach one ooh that doesn't sound good really thin it feels like a really thin plastic anyways um, attach it here I'll probably put the M on the back side or some sort and some sort of a uh, thing that in the box there was a pose where he's doing like a flying kick towards the heart not sure why but uh, there you go <laughs> All right, so uh, let's wrap it up and put it onto the tower. Here we go, we have the trio, unit zero, one and two, quite great. Now I kind of forgot to mention that, you know, there is that, this thing here that just attaches on his back, kind of similar to the other two. It's quite nice. I do have X yet, that's coming up. And that will go to the second floor, along with this comes the Alpha Mon, one of those. Not too familiar with Digimon either. But I got Strike Freedom there, Wing, and Zeta. So this stack is going along. <laughs> but yeah, I really like enjoying NX Edge style. They're relatively cheap. Not too bad. I mean, they're about $25 to $30 price range. But it's a great figure nonetheless. And uh, yeah, they're, they're continually making it. And it seems like there is a demand for them, which is good. I like collecting the NX Edge. And that's about it. If you got questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.